got a lot of rain recently and well let me show you it's all a puddle see how deep it is that's at least an inch or two deep so it goes all the way back there that's where back in that corner is where we had our chicks uh, last summer and this is I guess a basement, however, it's more of a cellar slash crawl space. Two thirds of it has headroom, but then a third of it is um, just a crawl space, but a decent size one, you can easily crawl into it. Um, the other side's opened over there. So <laughs> uh, this is mostly used for storage, as you can see. I've done some work to try to waterproof it, very simple stuff like this waterproof paint because the water was seeping through. I was um, just kind of patching some cracks. Most of you probably already know that doesn't work, especially since I'm showing you puddles of water. <laughs> um, it did get better when we had we got a new roof um, in 2020 or 2021. And uh, that helped because of the, the drain management. Um, there are still some improvements I can do with the gutters. Um, I also need to clean out the leaves from the gutters. All of that with tons of rain uh, means more water near the foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum this up. Um, and yeah, it's just what it is at the moment. emptied one but now it's it's going very slow and it sounds like it's having a problem with uh with the suction so i don't know what to do for it we're about to go on a trip so i was hoping to get this vacuumed up to dry a little bit better with the dehumidifier going but at this point i don't know what i'm going to be able to do before we actually go uh, i don't know if i need a new wet vac dewalt Decent brand. I've had it for what two or three years now, though, and um, I mean, I'll be honest. I left it outside at least one time overnight in the storm, so I'm kind of surprised it worked after that. Um, but hopefully, it'll start back up for us and can keep going. Otherwise, I'll get a new wet back when we get home. And by going on a trip soon, I mean the goal is to leave in ten minutes. So uh, definitely have to stop doing that. Um, probably should pack. We're gonna visit my sister though in Maryland, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, three days and. It'll be great for the kids hanging out. We're all looking forward to it. Um, just had to put some, some things on hold here. It's a little silly closing this because I haven't put the hardware cloth on it yet, but it'll keep out the honest animals. Our first snowfall of the year, January 15th here in central Virginia. Uh, we're not expecting much, maybe uh, half an inch. There's Kimberly reading by the window. Hi. Yesterday, I cleaned up all of the water. There's just a few little puddles left after the water, uh, you know, went back down to the lowest point. So it's looking a lot better down here. I went ahead and I bought this. It was inexpensive from, uh, from Harbor Freight. And what I found out though, the bigger one that stopped working, I feel silly now because I hooked up the, uh, the hose 
for the new one to the old one and it actually started working again what i realized is what happened i was using it to vacuum up some leaves and dust in the shed and it got clogged so this one still does work the hose just got clogged i can't even see the clog i just know it's there based on the other hose working so there's that i'll probably keep this one because i got it on sale and it probably will be nice to have two in the future um and i can also loan one out to to a friend or somebody that needs one um so i'll go ahead Ahead and uh, keep both basements looking better um, <laughs> I just feel silly about not realizing that it was stopped up uh, with the debris from the shed what are you gonna do we are going to Lowe's to get a sheet of plywood that we'll be using for a new project um, with tink tube actually making some shelves for a seed starting station to utilize some space that's currently just a blank wall right now. So come with me to Lowe's, let's pick up that plywood. Um, I'm not planning on taking the car seats out, so hopefully they can cut it in half for me. I think I'm gonna use these white wood boards for the shelving. I did um, a remodel in our laundry room and did a new shelving system in there. And I just took way too long looking into what wood I, what I wanted to use. I ended up using uh, some thick wood uh, panels. I can show that another time. But this is gonna cost a little bit more, but be more um, readily usable than the plywood. So I'm gonna get the, it's 2130 per board, but I just have to be okay with that. Um, I'm not gonna mill my own wood and the amount of extra work for the plywood, I don't think it would be worth it for the amount of savings. So I'm gonna use foot, uh, one foot, and this is by six feet. So I think three, cut in half, three feet. I'll do that at home um, so I can remeasure. I think that's gonna work perfect. So I'm gonna get two of these and I can always come back and get another one if I need it. And we're looking at just over $40 making the decision uh, to do 10 of these, um, at least 10 of these vlog style videos, just kind of behind the scenes on what I'm doing around here, just to get into the habit of it, kind of get some traction and see how it goes. So if you like this at all and are curious about um, how we're going to be growing our garden, taking care of our chickens, just the everyday stuff. Um, as I'm learning so much each day, um, I'm not here to necessarily teach you, but to bring you along on that journey and we can all learn from each other. So let me know what you guys think. I'm Joshua. I hope you have a great rest of your day and can spend some time in your garden today.